going to be very good because... Well, I've never had a good sour, so I don't know what I, to tell you. I didn't know it was in my fridge, and I saw it. I'm like, oh, well, if it's terrible, I can always go back to my last Oyster City. There you, go. you still have you still have a beer from last week? I do. Yes. Our, our, my beer rotates out way faster than that. Everything's <laughs> fresh at your, in your fridge. <laughs> David, you'll judge me harshly on this. Tim, you'll be proud of me. I have had a 30-pack of PBR in the fridge for the past, like, three weeks. <sighs> Are you trying to like wow? Are, are you okay? Do we need to like send out a a wellness check or something? Remove well, I'm drinking a lot less beer, house? so no, I don't know. <clears throat> I mean, I'm taking gummies and snacking a lot more, so I'm not sure the calories are down, but gotcha. Mm, well, no, I'm not so sure about this beer. Hold on. You do you, man. You do you. We can't all be uh we can't all be raging alcoholics, you know, so <laughs> Mm, that's not some beer I want to drink while we're having a podcast after call. <laughs> oh yeah. Why well, you need to be like in a in a dark room by yourself? <laughs> so, yeah, that's just not the not the not the feel of it. What 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 is the feel of it? Can you describe? Uh, it's um. Well, Where would you rather be? It is a sour. Uh, I would think I want to be like. It's not. It's not, it's a beer you want to sip on lately. How about that. Oh, yeah. all right. And when you're talking to us, you're like, drink fast. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, these fuckers. <laughs> these guys talk so much. I don't <laughs> <have a bug. laughs> no, it's just, it's. I mean, more, I, know, I understand. More sessionable beers are better for the podcast and tailgates. Yeah. yeah. This is not that. But I tried. Guys, tailgates are going to be hot. Maybe. Eh. For a little while, we'll have, we'll have tents, we'll have coverage. I know, I know. Maybe, no, maybe, maybe fine. Maybe we're we'll get it. We'll, we'll be like that uh meme that's on Facebook with the guy that has an air conditioner on the beach. Have you oh seen yeah. That? Well, we get, if we get walls for our um, if we get walls for our tents, then we could actually have a little AC action going on in there. I, I think we have to bring our own tents, right? Or no, no, we have tents, don't we? we, we have, have people that are donating enough. I think we have enough. I think. Okay. Pretty sure. Yeah, but we but we have tents. We, we we have a lot of planning to do for for tailgate season that we have not done yet. All so. I've all I've uh, committed to is a single game doing a low country boil, which I you know I haven't done anything. I haven't bought anything for that. I was going to do barbecue for the tech game, but I think that uh, the Smash Burgers it may be a Smash Burger game. I think Smash it's a Tech, fantastic uh, Smash Tech. Smash Smash Tech. Oh, that would go good with that the logo idea I was trying to work on ST. Did you even see that, Ryan? No. You, you don't. You have been like, you've been disconnected. Where are you from the the Where group chat lately? Look, so my phone has so many notifications these days, and I look at it, and it's just so overwhelming, and I don't end up looking at any of anything. I, I read through <laughs> it every now and again when you're pooping. Uh. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> Probably. I, I've thought about it before. Like, if I'm on TikTok or something, you're on like TikTok. TikTok. Yeah. If you if you're on TikTok now, like it'll um, if somebody else, one of your friends or whatever, is on there at the same time, it'll say like, "Tim is active." You know, say hi. Like they want you to chat with them, whatever. I'm like, oh, they're pooping okay. too. That's nice. <laughs> Instead of saying hi, just send a poop emoji. It's exactly. It's like poop yeah, emoji. Enjoy the poop. <laughs> oh, back when like when uh, apps were like, a new thing on phones, one of my, one of my buddies uh, wrote an app. It was basically like the poop app. You would basically just like pull the app up and tap the button and it would like send a message to all your buddies. If they have the same app to, to let them know that you were pooping and they could like reply back with like, you know, whatever. It actually had a lot of downloads on it. <laughs> this is like early app days. Early I mean, if I'm days. sending you TikTok links, I'm pooping. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. That's pretty accurate, yeah. Yeah, I, that slowed down the sending the TikTok because I think I do a lot of Twitter on the on the toilet now. Right yeah, now. I try. Twitter, I, I, Twitter I kinda, toilet. Fortunately, I poop like three or four times a day, so I get to cycle through all of my apps. Yeah, I kind of refuse fair. to call it X. I just call it Twitter still. Yeah, and the thing that I have no problem with it being called X. I, I mean, I, I still call it Twitter, but like I have no problem with that name. It's just, but what is the message you send? Because on Twitter, you said you would send a tweet. On X, you send, you send X'd an, someone. Send I think it's X. a post. I think it's a post. They they laid post. it out. Uh, they they did changed the nomenclature like officially. I think it's a. I think it's a post. Don't care. It's a tweet. Yeah, it's a tweet on Twitter. 
ruined by X. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, I, X is whatever. It's just another place to post something. It is. But who, who owns the other alphabets? dot coms of uh, uh you know out there. like who a. owns like com, b. Com. Who, yeah who, who owns oh. f.com fuck dot com yeah. <clears throat> fuck they would they wouldn't sell that i don't know if they ever did but they would not sell like back in the 90s because like, they knew the, what it used for I, I i can or whatever that governing body was yeah. that issued out domains they would not sell fuck.com because like well this will be used for you know blah 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 i'm like It'll be used for porn. Like, this will be used York, for what? And, and this will be way, used half the internet usage is for. Yeah, who cares you, what it what is used for? What who and, who, and do you, who are you? And newsflash: there's already porn on the internet, so yeah. everywhere. <laughs> and now there's a dot wtf. So you know, we should be state of Atlanta dot wtf. I tried to find. I wanted to do like a um a tiny URL type thing. I'm trying to find something to be like some tiny thing that's like so.a or s.oa or something to do like um our links for the podcast and stuff like that but i couldn't find a good extension that worked for us but there's a wtf yeah there's a dot wtf sure. i see i think okay we're at we're last call so we're gonna say this i think instead of when they were wanting to add the other extensions uh to kind of classify things like dot site dot biz dot whatever i was like for porn site should be dot com <laughs> <laughs> it is like dot xxx right now and they're like the xxx i think i think there is dot xxx or dot porn or something like that but yeah. I, I you don't always you don't none really of my porn is on those but <laughs> you don't see a lot of usage of like the those because they have like a bunch of extensions now yeah but you really don't like you'll see like dot site or dot blog every once in a while or dot tv or something i, I, I think the primo you know, the primo yeah. is still dot com because that's like the standard everybody's expecting Mm. I just dribbled. Ooh, that's all right. That's why you lap, get the beer. lap that up. Why yeah. you have the beard? Is you the same. Like the, the beer. I just got a little flavor saver over here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, one thing I've got to talk about with the EA thing was um the roster got all like they didn't have the right roster at all. What for the game at, at release time? The, the, well, uh, I guess the rosters... they, I mean they they know as little as we do. Well, so. Ben has been, got the official roster from Dell and uh, got the approval to send it over to EA. So Ben is advocating on behalf of Georgia State with EA on getting the correct roster updated. Is that like so, a, a people are ambassadors of their university and try to get stuff I don't fixed? Know. I mean, it's weird that you have a third party out there or just a fan out there that's having to do this. Although, from my understanding is that EA will be updating all the stats, all the rosters, all the stuff every week when the season starts. So this may have happened or organically. So when we but, beat Georgia tech and then we win the next three, all of a sudden our ranking in NCAA is going to jump. Our players right. are going to get rated higher. <laughs> yeah, we should. Right. That's yeah. That's what that means. I, I, hope so. I mean, that's the thing is nobody knows, right? Like all all of the predictions, it's just like a it. It's like not based in re, like any kind of reality because there's no way to do that. There's just no way to see how this team's gonna play. It's entirely new. We're we're listed as a a one star program on the game. It so fine. is like yeah, but so yeah, but, yeah, totally fine. But that's like so right. is Co yeah. So so is Coastal and Jimmy Madison and yeah, sure. uh, other other schools, but no, 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 they're upset about it. Like how how are we on the same level as Georgia State? I, mean, you're in the same I got news for conference. you. You're at the same level as Georgia State. We're all yeah, yeah, in yeah. this thing together. Yeah, there was a the, one. Of the, one of the tweets I saw was from a Coastal guy complaining about it, and somebody come on and said, uh, replied, "Is like, huh? It's like it's like they looked at last season's records and saw who lost to who." Since we beat Coastal, <laughs> at least they did that much. Yeah, they, they could have done less and be like, "Yeah, this is good enough." I move my monitor further back. Sure, yeah, but again, go. I mean, it's just like it's impossible to tell. Like, even if you looked at last season, like Art, we don't even have the same coaching staff. Like, we have new everything. It's oh yeah, who, totally I, I, got a, I got into a thing with somebody about that. They were about what? I forget. It was some Twitter thing, and some guy was like poo-pooing Georgia State, and I was like, "Yeah, we got a objectively better both 
on you know the coaching staff and and the and the the, the team roster. And he's like, "That's what Charlotte said last year." I'm like, "Yeah, well, Charlotte was shit the previous year, and they were shit again this year." Like. We were pretty good. It might have got better. Who knows? They were just they were shit. No, they were, actually, I looked it up. They were three and nine in twenty twenty two. They were three and nine in twenty twenty three. But maybe their trajectory was downward, and that they halted the downward is was good. I don't know. Charlotte sucks. They're not. Yeah, good. yeah. I mean, look. I think that you can go through and and like look at the coaching hires and look at the recruiting class and say like, yeah, I mean, we're, we're, we have positive trajectory, right? Like, like it, it all seems like good Mm -hmm. news, but like, it's all just nonsense until we know what happens on the field. That's why I can't wait for the fucking season to start 45 days, 45 days. It's it's, it'll be here before you know it. I mean, yeah. So we're going to, that, that means we're going to have like NFL preseason will start in like a couple of weeks, I think. Ah, who cares about that? No, but, but at least now you've got football on TV. There's something, I mean, that, yeah. That yeah, I, I, whether I watch it or not, there's football on TV, which is the most important thing. And then uh, we get to see, we get to watch Tech and that Week Zero game, Florida State and Dublin. Right. So, I mean, I, if, that's you know, hope they don't like, get any injuries or anything. But you know, I never happens. root for the injure injury of any player, but if they're a little bruised up when they get back to Atlanta. That wouldn't be the worst case scenario, right? Any advantage we can get? Oh, I, I root I root for cramps on game day. That's my on that's, game day, yeah. That's yeah, what yeah. I root for. Cramps on game day. You gotta sit out. Cramps. It's called the Chris it's called the Chris Chandler. That's right. Just just an IV, hook you up. You'll be good as new as by the end of the game, but but you're out. <laughs> yeah. As soon as that clock strikes zero at the end of the game, I, I hope you are a hundred percent fully recovered. That's right. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, but uh, I mean, obviously, you want to win the game, and winning the game is all that matters. Oh yeah. That being said, like if you were back in the '90s on the Hawks, whatever, and the the Bulls are coming to town, and MJ's got an injury, and the Hawks win, you're like, oh, good, I'm, I'm glad we beat the team that we played. But man, I would have rather have to have beaten them with Jordan on the court. Like I want to yeah. win. I want you to give me your best. I want you to give me the absolute best team you have, and I want to say that I beat you at your best. Now I'm going to accept that win. A, a W is a W is a W, no matter yep. what. Sure. But I would rather play you at the. I would rather beat you at your best than. Uh, like they're they're always going to find excuses and whatever. Yeah, but yeah. like, it doesn't need to be that. It doesn't need to be like our oh. star player went down. They already have right. excuses built in. Oh, are they already? To, are they we were, already? We were play. We had to play in Ireland, and we came back. Where we couldn't recover in time. Like, yeah, your done. administration. Your administration scheduled both of these games. Also, these just games. keep your schedule. Like, just sleep when you're supposed to sleep, and and don't you know? Like, I, I don't. I've never under. I've only flown to Europe twice, or and I don't like get the. I mean, I'm not an athlete by any stretch, other than my bocce game, but. Jet lag has never bothered me. I've never had like, yeah. Ma- I think maybe, lack of sleep bothers me. I've always, I'm a, I'm a, I've always done the whole. Uh, you just eat at the same time you would normally eat, even like in the adjusted time. So like, if I, I, I eat lunches like really early. So I eat lunches at like eleven thirty. If I go to Ireland, I eat lunch at eleven thirty Irish time, and like your body understands that and like gets That's into dinner. the groove. What? That's, that's like that's like dinner. Uh, that's dinner <laughs> over there. <laughs> no, no, no. Ele- oh, you you use their you eat. I mean, Irish time. time. Like go like oh, in yeah, yeah. I- Irish time, eleven thirty a.m. Eat your lunch. Oh okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. Of course, I do the same thing. Yeah. No. And your body, your body, like adjusts a lot faster. Because I, you're you're right. I I've not ever had a big problem with jet lag except for when I was really little and did not do things like that because my mom didn't teach me things like that no i just like i like you know maybe i'm uh way more tired at you know five o'clock in the afternoon than i should be but then i still stay up until my 10 11 12 whenever i normally go to bed yeah you still do everything you would have done yeah there's no catching up on sleep it's not like if if i miss no if if i'm awake for 36 hours and I go to bed. I'm not going to sleep for 16, 16 hours. hours. No, I'll just get my. You, you get your. Ooh, you get your, awesome. your, your. Your six nine hours of sleep, whatever it takes for somebody. I'm more of a. Uh, um, 
four to five seven hour i'm more about a seven hour yeah. a night kind of guy i will say when i we flew over to england uh it was like a overnight flight or whatever and like i couldn't sleep and i was pretty much worthless the first day in england i think i fell asleep on like the big bus tour i just couldn't stay awake after uh, that's after having like a quad espresso and having some uh, more caffeine just trying to keep myself awake when i flew to dublin it was an overnight flight and uh i get flight anxiety and so i was nervous about you know being on the flight for whatever that six eight hours whatever that flight is i don't know how long it is yeah so a buddy of mine gave me an ambien and i've never taken ambien before in my entire life so i decided to take it uh, on yes, the plane now is a I, good thought, time. I, thought, I thought over the, i thought over international waters was a good time to take a, a drug for the first time so i did that <laughs> And oddly enough, I actually had like the entire three seat row to myself. I could lay down if I wanted to uh, and I couldn't sleep. And so I ordered two Jack Daniels to kick that ambient. Into that ambient. Great. Yeah, great. exactly. Good, good all, move. all good ideas so far. Mm. And I was wide awake that entire flight. I did not sleep at all. And so I landed in Ireland. Uh, I forget what time, six, seven in the morning, something like that. Their local time. And um, they allow you to drink that early if you have a flight incoming. So I just went to the bar. But my friends were on a different flight getting in like, you know, an hour after me. So wait. I just went to the bar and I just drank some Guinness. And just we went out that entire day. And I slept when I got back to the hotel that night. Wow. It was, it was a, a full, you know, 24 hour, 48 hour, whatever, however long I was awake. I don't know. And I can't good. sleep on flights. I, I just like cannot do it. I did Australia and back and I did not sleep that entire time. And I tried watching like dry you ass stir British crazy. Stuff and, huh? I feel like going to Australia and you can't sleep at all. You'd be stir crazy. It's I mean, yeah, no, I mean, yeah, I, yeah I'd have to get up and take laps around the plane and stuff like that. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's the other. I mean, it's about as far as you can fly. <laughs> so the only time I ever I truly slept on a plane was same trip. And so when I went to Dublin, that was just a, a stopover because I was going to a wedding in Ed, or in Scotland, but I wanted to go to Dublin for a couple of days and get fucked up drunk with my people, and, yeah. which I so and I and I did, but then we took a, a Ryanair flight. Um, your airline Ryan sucks. Uh, took a Ryanair flight yeah, from sucked. Dublin, affordable, and it got you where you need to go. It did safely, uh, wow, but I took a Ryanair welcome. flight from Dublin to Edinburgh, which is like it's like a forty five minute. You know, wheels yeah, up, wheels down. That's, like, that's it's dumb. Short that's, flight. That's, they're close. Those close. Those cities it's are very so close, close to each other. But anyhow, I got on that flight and I put my. I was in the middle seat, but I had my little head and neck pillow, and I laid my head back, and I woke up when those wheels hit the ground. I, I, I slept through the entire thing, and my friends on either side of me, like, how did you sleep through this? Like, they were out here selling magazines and cigarettes and just like pimping out all kinds of crap. I heard none of it. It's the only time I've ever slept on a flight, and it's because I had been awake throughout all of Dublin. Because Dublin's the best city I've ever been to in my life. I love Dublin. Oh my god, get out of Dublin then, because oh, I've uh, heard Ireland. The rest great, of Ireland but... is better, and and Dublin's amazing. Dublin's, but it's not a pretty city. It's a really ugly city. It's still great, but the rest if you of go Ireland to like, is like better. If you go to Ireland, you go Ireland's to get... awesome. I I love. I, I loved my time there. My favorite yeah. place I've ever been in my entire life. I loved it. But you go to the Guinness uh, place, the brewery and everything, and you go to that, that gravity pub at the top. I was talking about this yesterday. You just drink for free and, all freaking day. And, and you just look, but you look out, whatever. You're like, oh, man, Dublin's kind of an ugly city. It's not the, not the prettiest out there. But, man, I had the best of my life. I've never had as much fun as I've had in Dublin. It's good so. times. Tim did not want to hear this conversation at all. Yeah, what, I don't know what happened. <clears throat> yeah. So, do we have anything else for last call? No, nah, that's about it. We can uh, call it a night. Cool. Say goodbye, guy. <laughs> <laughs> Good, goodbye, guy. <laughs> oh, we had to go pee. Bye. Bye. He put it in the private.